On the 150th anniversary of the end of the Civil War, the state of the antebellum housing market is strong, and not just for history buffs. In the 23 US markets with two or more Civil War battlefields, all but one has a higher median list price compared with last year. Home prices aside, the history is reason enough for some home buyers. Outside Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Sherry Grimm lives in an 1817 colonial Georgian home with her husband, Mark. About 10 times a year, Mr. Grimm dons full Union military regalia to become Civil War Major General John Hartranth. He hosts Civil War reenactment events at the home, which the couple bought for $500,000 in 2007. They have found ammunition, belt buckles, and historic coins on the four and three quarter acre property, and a Civil War era rifle was included in the sale. In Franklin, Tennessee, near the 1864 Battle of Franklin, Joseph Cascia and his wife Angela Humphreys bought a circa 1810 home on 18 acres for $2.85 million in 2006. They have since poured about $1 million into the home's restoration. In a hidden staircase, the couple found a sample of yellow wallpaper from the 1830s that they have professionally reproduced for the dining room. They recently listed the home for $4.5 million, saying they plan to downsize to a smaller home. In Georgetown, South Carolina, Jamie and Marcia Constance have been trying to sell their nearly 1,000 acre estate since 2013. The 10,000 square foot, circa 1819 home, along with several historic buildings and a working turf farm, is listed for just under $13.5 million, down from an original listing price of $15 million. They bought the property in 1984 as a part-time home, and have put more than $3 million into restoring and upgrading it. The home is filled with antique furnishings, ornate moldings, and historic details inspired by the memoirs of one of the home's original owners. Niche market or not, for some buyers, it's the perfect fit.